Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So my recording software broke, not my software, my hardware broke, so I have to borrow Jimmy's now while I'm waiting for mine to arrive. So hopefully I'll still get videos out to you guys, and hopefully they get they ship my hardware soon. Anyway, you guys have been asking for a lot more of the mini gameplay, so I'm going to show you some to you. Uh, we are on my free-to-play account. Now, uh, just a little note how slow I'm progressing without two builders. Um, it, it's insanely slow. So I was at level like 34 when I get uh, three was created and now I'm level 36 and he's level 39. Now I do believe he is using diamonds to gym up times or something. Uh, but he, I believe he is also using two builders, which I can't do because I'm a stupid free to play account. And I asked you guys a long time ago, if you guys think I should be allowed to have, uh, have, uh, be able to use, oh, look at this six, six, six. Perfect. Um, I asked you guys a long time ago if I would, if I should be able to use um, the extra builder, and you guys said no. You guys were like, "Screw that, Christian! You're a stupid free-to-play account." So uh, now I'm doomed to a life of uh, boring gameplay. So anyway, uh, I might even buy a second builder on my Confusion account because that's only a level 61 account, um, and it would be nice if I could try to get that account maxed soon because I may even, I may even tr attempt to push on that account but it's going to be an ice push because this full offensive push guys is insanely tough you guys have no clue how tough a full offensive push is um like if i could uh if i could build ice i would build ice because a full offensive push is insanely tough and um just to give you guys like a brief summary of how it's going i just hit 12 13 today um, which is awesome this morning actually and I always do better at the end of the day so I'm hoping I'll hit 12 15 tonight um, and then in a couple days like I'm gaining like five every day so in a couple days I should be able hopefully I'll, 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 I'll hopefully I'll get to the top of uh, I mean the bottom of the USA leaderboard because that would just be so cool so currently the USA leaderboard is uh, 1252 and I'm 1215 or 1213 so I would say in a couple days I should be able to get close to it and I'm just hoping I'm at uh, ranked 102 right now in the USA so I'm gonna break top 100 soon which is gonna be so cool anyway let's do some attacks uh, we're not gonna claim that yet and another cool thing that's also gonna be coming out in a few days guys as soon as the trader comes back on my main account which he comes back tonight so uh, probably tomorrow's video for you. Um, hopefully Jimmy lets me keep recording with his software because or his hardware. Um, but hopefully tomorrow's video for you guys, I will uh, be doing something super awesome. Now I don't want to spoil it. I mentioned it last week, and I hope you guys. I can't defeat that with warriors. Um, I hope you guys are super hyped because I am so hyped for this new thing that I'll be doing. Just a, a spoiler alert: it has something to do with the trader and a bunch of tickets. Um, I love corner bases of warriors and like I, I did a map clear mini map clear earlier Some guy was asking me um, if it was worth having Or if it was worth using warriors at a low level So at a low level that means before you unlock smoke and I would say don't use warriors before you unlock smoke It, it helps when you know of a troop combinations that aren't a smoky combination yeah, like, yeah, smoky combinations are fun and all, and there's probably no way I'm going to be able to defeat this. Um, smoky combinations are fun and all, but at a certain point, um, you're, you just, it's, it's a lot of repetition, and it's, it's good to know other combinations. I had to try, guys. I had to try to beat this base, but he's a level 48 with a nice statue, and at this point in time, I don't have enough damage or enough energy to take it down. If I could shock that Doom Cannon, if I had two shocks, I, I would be able to do it. And since there's nobody else really on, I'll just show you a couple hits. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about Warrior Factory in a second here. Um, I would say at a low level, just try to know, try to learn how to use Hookah or Ruka, uh, because it helps you a long way. It helps you it helps you so much. Like, I didn't use Hookah or Ruka. I just used Warriors all the time. I use a little Hookah and Ruka on my Sunny account, which is my brother's old account. I don't play on it anymore. It's a level 32. But I used a lot of Hookah and Ruka on that account. So I kind of got Hookah down. Um, I could I could probably defeat bases on my Confusion account with it. Definitely. Because it's like super low on victory points. But there's no way I can defeat high, super high bases with RZCM or... 
um, tank medic. So I would say don't use tank medic until you ha can't have two tanks on a boat. Um, let's see how much, where is it? Nope, nope, tanks, tanks, tanks. So tanks take up eight space. So I would say don't use tanks until you have at least 16 space. Then it just becomes so good. Uh, you can you can defeat some awesome bases. And uh, just to give you, like, yeah, I, I am a full offensive player pretty much on this account, so I don't win any defenses. I think I only won a few defenses, and it was at the very beginning. 19 defenses, and it was at the very beginning. Um, so, yeah, I'm not worried about achievements for this account. So, yeah, I'm just not worrying about it. So, for for uh, War Factory, let's talk about War Factory as a lower level because I'm kind of running into a problem here. Like, War Factory is, is pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, I would say I kind of messed up here. <laughs> I, w I, w I was trying not to lose any, so I just retreated and dropped some energy, which was pointless. It was just a wasted attack. So, uh, at War Factory at a low level, I would say try to get the first two rewards, um, which is five uh, gears. Or, no, the first three awards, which is two gears, I believe, five gears, and then ten gears. Just use your energy. Try to find spaces like this where it's only like 15,000 on the HQ and just try to uh, take down supply chests because you'll get uh, you'll get like two prototypes and some loot from doing this. So I would say that's the best strategy to do for War Factory at this low level. Um, you, you can't defeat it, guys. There's no way you can defeat War Factory at this level. At least I don't think you can. Zemot might find a way. It, it would be insanely tough. Um, I would say, like, level 42, it would probably be, like, the minimum, the bare minimum you should be, or you can take down a War Factory with. Now, the first time I took down War Factory, uh, I was a max player, so it doesn't, it doesn't really count, but, um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's super interesting attacking War Factory this slow. Like, I can defeat it on my Confusion account, I can defeat it on my main account. But there's no possible way I can defeat it on this account. It's kind of it's kind of weird playing on this low level account now because now I'm clearing my map on my confusion account every day. I'm clear I'm clearing my map on um I'm clearing my map on my main account twice a day, and then I'm trying to clear my map on my mini every day. Um, it's just so weird because I have I have so much less energy. But I, I gotta tell you, I'm using warriors on every single account, and I I believe I'm getting close to being the warrior master. Now, a lot of people are commenting and saying, Christian, why do you have your hero uh, like this? And I mentioned this before in videos, but I know people are gonna bring it up. They're like, Christian, if you're such a warrior master, why don't you go farther? Well, for this low level. You can't really flare to a building back because then you'll have no energy to shock or med kits. So you have to, you have to just do it this way, and it helps a little bit, but it doesn't help too much. Actually, it does help a lot. Um, and the nice thing about this, I'll just show you this attack one more time. The nice thing about this, on a main account with more warriors, your warriors are gonna kind of spread out evenly around the HQ. Um, but on this account, the back half is pretty much open, so the hero gets, I would say, maybe all but 10 of your warriors, and I believe, how many warriors do I have? Like 35, so it gets like 25 warriors, and it gives them that super, super boost, so super cool. Having a lot of fun on this mini account, having a lot of fun on all my accounts. Upgrading, um, I upgrade my offensive, I, I try to upgrade my offensive buildings, I'll show you my attack on here. It's kind of a fail. Um, I tried to upgrade. Again, you can't do much in operations at a low level either. I made a video a while back talking about attacking, helping your teammates as a low level in operations. Go watch it. Uh, just type it into YouTube. I, I'll, I'll forget. If I even say I'll put a card on the screen, I won't. I always forget. And nobody reminds me in the comments. <sighs> okay. Um... So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, defense. So yeah, I'm upgrading my defense and there's a reason why I'm upgrading my defense to the way I am. Uh, I, I talked about this so many times, but I would say just, I would, I would just say upgrade your offense because your offense is powerful, it's strong. Um, I don't want to get into why I tell you people to upgrade their offense. Um, it, it has more to do with being able to defeat higher bases to get more loot, but there's some actual science behind it that I, I, I calculated a long time ago. You know I love calculating stuff in Boom Beach. Um, so, yeah, it's just weird, you know? Like, you have two choices. You can either upgrade offense 
and get some offensive statues or you can upgrade defense or you could kind of like modify it and upgrade both the thing you don't want to do that's 100 percent for sure do not max out your hq now people have a hard set opinion about this they say okay well i don't care what christian says i'll max out my hq no matter what um don't do it because it's it's so bad for you it there's literally no benefit to saving your hq um it actually is worse if you don't upgrade your HQ as soon as you unlock the next level or as soon as you get the loot. Um, because people, they'll say in the comments, okay, Christian, I honestly don't care what you say. I, I mean, that's what I do and it works fine for me. But don't do it, guys. Because the reason I tell you this is mostly just because of the sculptor. The sculptor is is why I tell people not to do that. And he should have marked, uh, he should have marked this uh, prototype here. Um, then he wouldn't have to keep shocking it. Um, yeah, yeah, um, but anyway, I get knows what he's doing. He has three accounts, one in main and two in here. So, yeah, the main reason you don't want to upgrade your offense, this was a beautiful attack, but that stupid rocket launcher. Um, the reason you don't want to max out your defense every single HQ level, it's all for the sculptor. So, uh, when you upgrade your HQ, most of the time, or not most of the time, about half the time, you'll unlock a new sculptor level, which means you can have a never statue, which means you can have a never defensive statue, or you can have a never offensive statue, or support that statue, whatever. You'll get, you'll be able to just, you'll be able to, it's, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good. Like, don't max out your HQ. And then on top of that, you can get more vault levels, which means, um, no matter if you're upgrading defense or offense, I don't care. Um, I would just say you need to upgrade. You need to keep your vault and your sculpture upgraded. Because as soon as you fall behind, people are going to destroy you. They're going to take all of your loot. Because um, there's like, for every defensive upgrade, you can have like, you can have an, uh, an offensive upgrade that is a, like, it's a counterpart of it. So what I mean by that is, think about it. You can either upgrade your your vault so you can hold more resources if someone attacks you, or you can upgrade all of your defenses, which takes forever, and why would you do that, um, which protects your resources more. So I hope you guys kind of see what I'm saying here. Uh, it, it's, you know, you can do whatever you want, guys, but I'm just trying to give you my tips from playing Boom Beach on three different accounts for three years. Um, just trying to help you out here. <laughs> Look how far back she stands. Oh, oh, he's using a remote grenade. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, remote, yeah, universal remote. I always call it uh, remote grenade. It's not remote grenade, so. Um, honestly, guys, you can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to give you my tips. But, yeah, I'm just showing you, like, the main guys in here because I don't have a lot of time and I just want to get through some a li little attacks. And I know these guys know how to use uh, AZ, so it's a lot of fun watching their hits. And he should have uh, taken this down. What, what happened? Just not enough time. Well, all of his troops are here. Use your ability. Use your ability. Use your ability! Okay, he's not using his ability. It's fine. He probably doesn't have the energy. Oh, he does. He uses his ability. It doesn't even do much. Way too much HP. Way too much HP. So, yeah. Overall, guys, yeah, I'm just... Yeah, it, it's just kind of weird. Like, people are always gonna... They're not... It's it's pretty hard to change people's minds about this. And a lot of people came from Clash of Clans, which there's actually a penalty for upgrading your HQ or Town Hall. Um, so people think that the same thing goes for Boom Beach because they're created by the same developers. That's just my opinion. Um, so people just say, okay, well, maxing is kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Maxing is kind of fun. Um, I've never maxed out a base before I upgraded the HQ because it's pointless and it just sets you, it sets you far back. Like, on top of that, you can get more landing crabs. But the thing is, when I tell people that... They'll go ahead, upgrade the HQ as soon as they can. Then as soon as they max out their vault, their sculpture, their landing crafts, their gunboat, and all of their offensive buildings, they can pretty much upgrade their HQ again. So their defense just gets set further and further behind. So what I would say for you guys is, one, know how to attack bases that... Just know how to attack bases. Because I had someone comment the other day and say something like, I'm a level 45... Um, super high up in metals. I only get, why am I going down here? Okay. He's like, I'm super high up on metals. I only get level fifties and up. But if you think about it, he's a level 45. I'm defeating level fifties on this account. Um, 
I'm defeating level 50s, so it's possible to defeat level 50s. And I can I can guarantee you, if you're a level uh, 45, <laughs> if you're a level 45, this was the biggest hop we've ever done, I think. Um, I can guarantee you, if you're a level 45, you can defeat pretty much any level 50. Um, if you have some offensive statues. Now, obviously, if you're full defense or you have those production statues... Um, obviously, you probably can't do it, but overall, guys, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, that was a beautiful hit, Fluffy, but then again, it's Stronghold. I would just say, uh, the way I've been doing it on this account is if I don't have enough loot to upgrade one of my landing crabs, I'm gonna upgrade, uh, one of my storages, and if I don't have enough loot to upgrade my storages, I'm just gonna upgrade some defensive stat defensive buildings, and it works fine. I mean, it's not perfect. I, I shouldn't say that because you'll get destroyed like me. Um, I think what I did when I was my fusion was low, I had like pretty much all resource reward statues to get resources to upgrade. So it was a lot easier to get resources, um, which helped a lot because then when I cleared my map, I would be able to easily destroy bases. But yeah, just trying to give you some tips here. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. Although I hope you guys learned something from these videos. Uh, there's not much I can do because my map is cleared and I can't defeat any of the bases. But I was hoping to get another magma so I could do something. But I didn't. Wait, can I? No, it's ice. Okay, we'll get the ice. Um, and that's another thing. I can either get loot or I can get shards. And I'm going to get shards every time because unless it's gold on my main account... And I'm low on gold. Oh, by the way, I just, I finished my upgrade. So now Brooke is going to 22. So she'll be done in like a day now. So 6.9 million gold down the drain. You're asking, how did you do that on a push? Honestly, guys, it was insanely tough. It, it was just luck. I got my supply chest, my operational reward. At the same time, we got like 3.5 million gold from the operation. 1 million gold or so from my supply chest and then I had like another couple million gold stored up so it, it was just everything fell together and I was able to do it so I only have brick now which is cool anyway I'll talk to you guys in the next one bye